determine the standard form of the equation of the hyperbola given your coordinates of your vertices 1, 1, and 9, 1. And of course, the coordinates of your foci, we have 0, 1, and 10, 1. In considering the equation of the hyperbola, of course, we should have known the coordinates of your center. Okay, so we're going to determine that before. And of course, the value of your major axis or transverse axis. And of course, your minor axis or the conjugate axis. We need to show our relationship of the given vertices and foci in a diagram or in a coordinate system. So there you have. So after we have shown the graph or the plot of your uh, coordinates of your f sub 1 and f sub 2 together with v sub 1 and v sub 2, okay, we need to consider this time our coordinates of your center through the use of your um, midpoint formula. And before that, what do you observe with our um, graph here or your plot of your coordinates? You'll observe that this type of hyperbola is said to be a horizontal. Because you notice that when we say horizontal, our our transverse axis is said to be um, parallel with the x-axis. So therefore, uh, this is a type of horizontal hyperbola. Now, as we consider the midpoint, we know already the value of your y because from vert two vertices, uh, they have the same value of y, which is 1. So therefore, it's just a matter of determining already your coordinate of your x. So for the value of your midpoint from your x, simply we have 9 and 1. So 1 plus 9 over 2 equals 10 over 2 equal, uh, 10 over 2 therefore is 5. So therefore, the coordinates of our center is simply we have 5 and 1. Okay, so as we consider here from the vertex v1 to v sub 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there you have our center okay now after considering already the center of our hyperbola okay we need to consider also the distance from center to your vertex which is your a to consider later on our major axis so a okay. again through the use of our inspection method this is a matter of counting from center to your v sub 1 but of course to make sure and we have an accuracy of the value it's just a matter of subtracting your distance, okay, which is uh, this time from 5 and 1. So, we have 5 minus 1, which is equals to 4, okay? How do we arrive with that? Because the distance of your center is the same at 5 and your V sub 1 is at 1. So, therefore, 5 minus 1 is simply 4. Then, when you square that, your major axis, therefore, is 16, Okay, the next from our given is the foci. What's the relationship of center to foci? This is denoted as your C. So, um, again, the distance from their inspection method from center to F sub 1, okay, which is 0, 1, and 5, 1. Okay, so therefore, 5 minus 0 is simply 5. Okay, and of course, this, when you square this one, it's 25. Okay, so we have already the major axis and we have already the center and the other thing to consider is your minor axis, simply your B. Okay, so how do you solve for that? Or B square, from our formula, B square is said to be C square minus A square. Okay, so our C is 25, C square is 25 minus your A square is 16. So 25 minus 16 is simply... 9. So do not extract that anymore. This is already our value of our minor axis. So b square is simply 9. We have the a square which is 16. And we have the center already. So therefore, we have completed already the considerations in determining the equation of your hyperbola. And a while ago, we have identified that it is classified as horizontal hyperbola. So therefore, our what standard form to be used? We are going to use quantity x minus h square over a square minus quantity y minus k square over b square equals 1. So it's just a matter of substituting our values we have solved a while ago. Okay, so our center is at 5, 1. So it's just a matter of substitution. So if it's 5, 1, so x minus 5 square, 
Okay, all over what's our solve value of a which is 4 and the square it is 16. And then on the other hand, we have here y, your k is 1. Okay, then you square it all over again your b is solved as a b square is solved as 9 equals 1. So again, this is now our equation of our hyperbola in the standard form. The given the vertices 1, 1 and 9, 1 and of course the foci 0, 1 and 10, 1. Again, our standard form of equation is x minus 5 quantity square over 16 minus uh, y minus 1 quantity square over 9 equals 1. So again, this is our equation of the hyperbola. Okay, I hope you find this helpful in your lesson.